Hello, uh, I'm John Stewart and a very warm welcome to our garden, the plough, near Wendover in Buckinghamshire. Uh, my wife Sue and I have lived here for nearly 30 years and during that time we, I guess, transformed the garden from one that was largely laid to lawn um, with one very large overgrown vegetable garden. Um, so I'd like you to uh, take you on a bit of a tour and uh, also talk about uh, the overall design uh, of the garden that we've implemented over the years. When we started working on the design of the garden, the main thing that we wanted to do was to relate the design of the garden to the existing layout of the house. So one of the first things we did was we picked up an axis that ran through all our public rooms and then continued it right out into the garden, um, ending in a focal point of the large uh, terracotta pot. And then all of the planting, the hedging uh, around that uh, reinforces this axis, which then really became the backbone of the whole garden. On either side of the box hedges, we've got two uh, borders planted with uh, peonies, echinops, geraniums, daylilies, the burnham up the end. Our house is symmetrical so we picked up that uh, symmetry in the garden with uh, an axis from the centre, a new circular bed and then uh, again picking up the angles of the bay windows and the box hedging. This long axis concludes in what is our most recently uh, planted area of the garden uh, which we really carved out of the trees a few years ago and uh, planted with this circular bed. When we bought the field behind our garden we uh, used the same method of creating a long axis but this time to link the uh, garden with the field in the same way that we'd linked the house with the garden uh, previously. The main colour in the garden is obviously green in all its hues and varieties but against that backdrop we've used a very limited palette of colours for flowers, just purple, white and uh, yellow which uh, we think gives a calming um, effect to the garden and also uh, certain coolness which we rather enjoy. When we first bought the house the lawn just uh, sloped around the house from the upper level at the front to this lower level which is that of the field behind and with some cut and fill we introduced the steps in front um, which pick up the pattern of the axes and hedges and reinforce it um, and they're partly paved and then uh, partly planted. The lawn at the back of the house we've pretty much retained, just um, planting fruit trees down one side and uh, with wildflowers under and then a deck at the far end under a beautiful willow tree which we're very lucky to have. Through the last few years we've moved to organic gardening and uh, stopped using any kind of chemicals in the garden. Um, we've um, introduced water features both in the garden and in the orchard and uh, created a bug hotel uh, in our woodland garden and we leave strips of grass unmown uh, to encourage wildflowers and hopefully um, improve the overall uh, biodiversity within the, within the garden. But well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, virtual tour of our garden. Um, we normally open it uh, every year for the National Garden Scheme, uh, which I think, as you know, raises uh, quite extraordinary amounts of money for uh, various nursing charities. And uh, like lots of gardeners, we've been unable to do so this year. Um, so if you have enjoyed um, this video tour, um, then please do make a donation to the NGS 